Okay, Shelby, you're going to need your um, perfect square sheet to help you out on this one. And we're going to solve equations. Now, there's x to the third, so that means there's three answers, as we saw yesterday. But this time, there's not four terms. Instead, there's only two. So one, two, two terms. So if there are two terms, we're still going to use our factoring procedure of GCF. And then seeing if the resulting expression is a difference of perfect squares. It's the only way we know that two terms can be factored. GCF. I don't have a negative in the front. Now I do have x connected to everything, so I take my smallest one, so x. And then 1 and 25, okay? So 1 would be smaller, so the only factor is 1, okay? So this x here is my GCF. Now I need to go divide by x since so that's going to be 1, x third, x second. Now x third and x, x third divided by x makes that 3 into a 2. And then 25, and then x over x cancels. Okay, now is that a difference of perfect squares? Why, well, yes it is, because we have 5 times 5, and we have 1x times 1x, because 1 times 1, and x times x. Okay, so 1x, 1x, and then 5 and 5. Now, I did have a GCF, and the GCF has x, so you got to drop the GCF down, okay? And it gets its own parentheses. So I can get my three answers now. x could equal 0. 1x plus 5 can equal 0. 1x minus 5 could equal 0. Okay, so x is 0, so 0 is the first answer. Minus 5 minus 5, 1x equals negative 5. So negative 5 is my second. And positive 5 is my first. And those are the three solutions to the equation. Okay, my next one, there's three answers. And again, we have just two terms. So I'll be going with my GCF. And then I will see if the resulting expression is a difference of two perfect squares. So GCF, well the first thing, we have a negative in front. We have x third and x, so we put x and then 2, factors of 2, 1 and 2. Okay, now... We see if those divide by 2. Well, I'm pretty sure 2 divides by 2. Whoops. Better divide it right. 2 divides by 2. Now, does 162 divide by 2? Yes, it does. Okay. So 2 works. Negative 2x. So that's going to be x to the second. And that's going to be negative 81, so minus 81, and that cancels. Okay. Now we have a difference of perfect squares because you got minus a difference, and then 9 times 9, and then x times x. Or sorry, you can put 1x squared. So 1x, 1x, because I know you like to put the 1 there. Okay. So that results in 1x times 1x and 9 times 9. The negative 2x we drop down. Okay. So I parenthesize that, and then it's time to solve, because I drop that straight down, okay? So all this can equal 0, so my negative 2x equals 0. My 1x plus 9 can equal 0, or my 1x minus 9 can equal 0. Divide by negative 2, and I get 0. Minus 9, minus 9, 1x equals negative 9. Plus 9, plus 9, 1x equals 9. Okay, my next problem. 
X a third, so I think there's possibly three answers. Yeah, there is three answers. But this time we have three terms. So, of course, three terms means I'm going to go with my GCF. And I'm going to go with my T chart. So GCF, do I have a negative in front? I don't. We got x third, x second, and x, so I got to take an x. And then 2 is my smallest, so factors of 2, 1, and 2. Then I see if those can divide. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 32 divided by 2 is 16. So 2 works. I should use 2. So 2x pulls out. So it's going to be 1x to the second minus 16x. Or no, 16 divided by 2 is 8. My bad. That was not going to work out good. So 8 plus 16, and that cancels. Okay. Now I have A, B, and C. So A times C. 1 times 16, that's 16, so that's a positive, so I'm looking for a sum that equals 8, okay? So 1 and 16, that's 1 plus 16, 17, so it means we plus them. 16 divided by 2 is, um, divide that by 2, you're going to get 8, that's 10. 3 is a decimal, and then 4 and 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay, so that's the winner. Okay, so A equals, well, A up there equals 1. Okay, so since A is just a 1, I just need two parentheses, and I take the 1x to the second, and that break it x times x. Okay, 4 and 4. So we have minus on 8. So you got minus 4. Sum would mean they're both minus. And then we take our 2x down here. And since it has an x, we parenthesize that because I'm going to use that for one of my solutions. So the 2x could equal 0. The x minus 4 could equal 0. Or another x minus 4 could equal 0. This one kind of worked out weird. So I get 0 for my first positive 4 for my second, and then I get another answer of positive 4. Now that's not supposed to happen because I wrote a bad problem out. Usually it's supposed to be three different ones, but that is a procedure for it. Okay, we have x to the power of 3, so three answers, and there's three terms. GCF, and then I would like to do my T chart. Okay. GCF, do you have a negative in front? No. Do you have X on everything? Yes. So X, and then 3. 1 and 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 36 divided by 3 is 12, so 3 works, so 3x. That's what I get for using a mechanical pencil. So that's going to be 1. Now x third divided by x takes it down to x to the second. x squared divided by x is x, plus 36 divided by 3 is 12, and we cancel the x's there. Okay, so a, b, c. So 1 times 12 is 12. Again, a times c, 1 times 12. 12, and it's positive, so I'm looking for a sum. I need to add the factors to make 7, okay? 1 and 12, that's 13. 2 and 6, no. 3 and 4, yep, okay, so A equals 1.
Okay, so since a is 1, we can use two parentheses. So 1x squared would be x times x, and then 3 and 4. So we have minus 7, so you have to have minus 4 and minus 3 because it's a sum. And then we take the 3x down here, wrap him up, and now we're fully factored it, so now we can solve. So 3 multiplied by x could be 0. x minus 3 equals 0 x minus 4 equals 0. So I divide by 3 and I get 0 for my first solution. Plus 3 plus 3 I get positive 3 for my second solution. Plus 4 plus 4 I get positive 4 for my third. 0, 3, and 4. Alright, next page. Again, three answers, and there are two terms. So I will be making my GCF, and then we will be seeing if we actually have a difference of perfect squares. First, we don't have a negative in front. We got x third and x, so x would be, oh, I'm sorry, I'm way down here. Should be up here. We have x, so let's check out nine, 18. So factors of 18, 1 and 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 18 divided by 4 is a decimal, 18 divided by 5 is a decimal, and then I'm just back to 6. So let's check out 18, okay? We'll see if 98 divides by 18. Nope. Let's check out 9. No. How about 6? Nope. How about three? Nope. How about two? Okay. Ah, it does. Okay. 18 divided by two. Nine. So two works. So two X. Okay. So two X, two X. So it's going to be 49 x to the second minus 9. Now this is a difference of perfect squares because we have 3 multiplied by 3 can equal 9 and then 49 7 times 7 and x to the second is x times x so that would be 7x multiplied by 7x. So I know I have 7x plus 3 and 7x minus 3. Okay. Now we had this 2x. Since that had an x, we need to drop that down because that's a factor that's going to be used to solve. Okay, so 2 multiplied by x can equal 0. 7x plus 3 could equal 0. Or 7x minus 3 could equal 0. Okay, so I divide by 2 and I get 0. That's my first answer. Subtract 3, 7 multiplied by x is negative 3, so divide by 7. Okay, so negative 3 divided by 7 is negative 0 0.4. I would just round that. 7x equals 3, and then 3 divided by 7 is positive 0 0.4. Okay, three answers again with two terms. So again, we're back to the GCF. And then we need to see if we have a difference of perfect squares. GCF, we have a negative in front, sure we do. X third and X, so X. And then let's look at two, so one and two. We can divide both those by two. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 32 divided by 2 is 16. So negative 2x. So it's going to be 1, x third, x is x second. 32 divided by negative 2 is negative 16, so minus 16. 
And the result is a difference of perfect squares because we have 4 times 4 and then 1x times 1x, okay? So 1x, 1x, 4, 4. And this right here has got to be dropped down because it does have an x. Okay, now I know what my three answers are. So negative 2x equals 0, 1x plus 4 equals 0, 1x minus 4 equals 0. So I divide by negative 2, I get 0 for my first. I get negative 4 for my second. And I get positive 4 for my third. Okay, very informative. Okay, my next one. X third, so three answers with three terms. So, I will be seeing for a GCF, hoping to find one. I will make my T chart. We don't have a negative, we got x all the way through, so I can factor out an x, and then 3, 30, and 75, 3 factors of 3 is 1 and 3, and that's 1, 30 divided by 3 is 10, and then 25, so 3x is your GCF. So that comes to the outside. Okay, so it's going to be 1, and then x second plus 10x plus 25. This is another weird one, okay? 1 times positive 25 is positive 25, so sum of 10. And 1 and 25, nope. 2 is a decimal. 3 is a decimal. 4 is a decimal, and then 5 5 and 5, okay, 5 and 5 is 10, and A equals 1, so that's good. I don't need to worry about the coefficient on X squared, because it's just X times X, and then 5 and 5. So I've got plus 5 and plus 5, so 3X. Now, aides who are watching, some teachers will tell them to write 3x times x plus 5 to the second. I would not do that because then there's going to be a missing thing. So 3x equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0. So I get 0. I get negative 5. And I get a duplicate answer of negative 5. All right, last one, three answers. And there's also happens to be three terms. So GCF and my T table. GCF, do we have a negative in front? You betcha. X third, X second, X. And then 7, so 1 and 7. Two's a, and then the rest is all decimals till we get to 7. Now, all these do divide by 7 because 140 by 7, that's 20. 700 by 7, that works. Okay. So 7 is the winner. Okay, so we're going to have 1 and then x second and then negative 20x and then 100. I actually don't worry about this problem. Same thing. I keep writing ones where there's duplicate answers. Okay, so you have three to do. That's really all I have to say on that. I hope it's been informative and let me know if there's any problems.